Hello world, welcome back to my channel. I am Sahil and I was developing a project user management system with admin panel and I have already completed user area of the project. Now from today I am going to start working on admin panel of this project. Okay. So this is the 20th video of the project in which I am going to show you how to design admin login page. Okay. So let's start. So first open your code editor. Now here you can see this is our project directory user hyphen system so first what i will do is i will create a new folder inside this user hyphen system directory okay so let's create a new folder admin now all the admin related file will be uh, created inside this admin folder okay so inside this admin folder let's create another new folder that is assets now inside this assets folder let's create two new folder that is css folder and one more that will be php folder okay now let's create a new file inside this admin folder okay so create a new file index.php okay now inside this file i will write code for admin login page okay so first what i will do is i will write some html5 boiler palette code and then in title i will write login and then admin okay now here i will use bootstrap for framework for designing the form so i will include all the bootstrap cdn links so for this let's open this index.php file of user area and from here you can see this is the CSS CDN link of bootstrap library so just copy and paste here now just come again here index.php file of user area and go below now here you will get all the JS file of bootstrap for uh, framework okay so just copy and paste here save now close this index.php file now inside this index index.php file what i what i will do first is uh, in body tag i will use a bootstrap class bg dark okay save and uh, now inside this container let's give one more bootstrap class h 100 that means height 100 to this container now let's create row now here i will use sorry inside this row i will use div column lg5 okay now inside this column i will create a card okay so for this i will use card and uh, here i will use sorry here i will use border danger and i will use sorry shadow shadow lg class of bootstrap 4 okay now inside this div first i will create a card header okay so here i will use card header okay and uh, then i will also use background bg danger now inside this div i will use h3 tag here okay and uh, in class i will use margin 0 and text text uh, white text white and here i will use a font awesome icon okay and i have already included font awesome library cdn link here you can see this is the font awesome cdn link so i can use font awesome icon 
using i tag and here in class i will use fas f sorry f user cog okay user cog now here i will use some space using nbsp and then here i will write admin panel okay admin panel login okay just save this now open your browser and here we have to write admin and hit enter now you can see this is our card displaying at the top and uh, this is the card header with text admin panel log login okay now let's define the card body so for this i will use div card body now inside this first i will create a form okay now i will use action attribute here and leave this blank method will be post class will be padding left and right three and i will also use an id attribute admin hyphen form sorry admin hyphen login form okay now inside this form first what i will do is i will create a div with class form group okay now inside this form group uh, i will create input field input and type will be text and uh, name will be username uh, here i will not use value attribute so just remove and class sorry class form control form control and i will also use form control lg and i will also use rounded zero okay now in placeholder i will write username okay and here just use required attribute and auto focus okay save this now if we come here and refresh then you can see the username field is showing okay now let's create another field so just copy the same form group div and paste here okay now here i will change only type password and uh, name will be also password and in placeholder just write password okay and just remove this autofocus attribute from password okay now next i will create a button okay so for this just paste one more time this div and here in type i will write submit and in name i will write admin hyphen login okay and in class i will use button button danger button block okay and button lg sorry lg and rounded zero here i will not use placeholder instead i will use value attribute and here in value i will write to login okay now just remove these two attributes from here okay now one thing more i will also use an id admin Log, sorry admin login btn okay admin login btn just save this now go to your browser and refresh okay so you can see our form is ready now let's uh, make this form to the center of the page horizontally and vertically okay so for this what i will do is just come here and uh, first i will write some css 
code for only this page so here i will here i will use a style tag and here in the style tag i will write html and body and here i will use height 100% okay height 100% now next what i will do is just come here and uh, in row what i will do next is just use height 100 and align item center and justify content center okay save this now come here and refresh so you can see still this is not okay so here we have to use align uh, items okay align items center save now you can see this form is showing to, to the center of the page okay and let's change the font also so for this uh, i will create a new file inside css folder style dot css okay now inside this what i will do is just come here in this asset folder and go to css then click on style dot css file just copy this import okay come here and paste now let's use word wrap okay now here i will select all the elements and here i will use font family font family for marvin pro okay marvin pro and sans serif okay save this go to the browser okay so first we have to link this style tag okay so just close this style tag and come to index.php file and here let's use another link tag and here in href we have to write sorry assets slash css slash style dot css okay save this now come here and refresh so here you can see the font has been changed okay so that's it for this video in next video i will show you how to create admin table and also how to make this admin login form functional okay so thanks for watching this video please like share this video and also subscribe this channel see you soon in next